Play ball. Three. 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 He's safe. Three. Now pitching for the American League. Three. Number 45. Garrett Cole. Now pitching for the National League. Number 35. Justin. Three. Steel. Now pitching for the American League. Three. Number 18. Shane McClanahan. Now pitching for the American League. Number 38. Kyle Bradish. Now pitching for the National League. Number 32, Brandon. Three. Fat. Now pitching for the American League. Number 77, Luis Garcia. Now pitching for the National League. Take your base. Number 46, Jose Alvarado. Take your base, ball four. Now pitching for the National League. Number 55, Ranger. Suarez, Ball four, now pitching base. for the American League. Number 29, Pete Fairbanks. Now pitching for the National League. Number one, pinch hitting for the American Leaguers. Number 44, Jordan Alvarez. Now pitching for the American League. Number 74, Felix Batista. Now pitching for the National League. Ball four. Number Take 19. Three. Mason. Miller. Take your base. Ball four. Now pitching for the American League. Number 48. Emmanuel Clase. And we're back. Leading it's Riley Green. Tiger. Oh, how he'd right love field. to walk it off right here. Green. Strike and one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the oh, situations, one, closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. So the tying run at second. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Chisholm pulls it in on the run. Great timing all around, from the timing of the jump to the timing of the game. It's late, there's action on the bases, and you find a way to make a play like that in the outfield? Just incredible. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. A one-run lead here in extra innings. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about well, something down. being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good Three. read. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
So they're down to their down final out. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. Trying to deliver as the hero. And that one fouled off. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. The Tigers down to their final strike. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out. So two down, Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next giant to hit. He's already homered in this game. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Hardliner. Gone! Grand slam! Oh, my! Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they take the lead. It's 9-7. That sound you hear is every writer in the press box smashing the delete button on their keyboards. Talk about flipping the script, Boog. This story was set up for a different type of finish. Now, who knows how to live? Just an unbelievable turn of events here. I mean, they've been putting together solid at-bats all inning. They set the table for him, and he delivered big time to get him the lead. Huge momentum shift on that swing, and now we'll see if they can hold on. That one laced to center and a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. Back here in Detroit, now the number two hitter, Matt Veerling. And now we'll get him out, visit from the pitching coach. Probably trying to give a little more time for that arm out the bullpen to get warmed up. Dylan Tate takes over on the mound. Now, well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, these Tigers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. The punch out there, one away. So up next, Colt Keith. Hey! Oh, one's the count. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. Are you talking about Back at Comerica Park. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Travis Darno. As the lefty gets to work. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And there's one down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. He's two outs away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. That one to first and foul ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. On the ground, right side. 
dives and he can't hang on. No, he's in there. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. No problem beating out the infield hit right there. Good hustle getting down the line. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Making a move at first. And pinch running for the Giants. John Birdie. Birdie runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Runner goes again. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. So the tying run is second. Runner goes again. Oh, that hit him. And he beats it. He's safe. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Runner on the move. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. They are being real aggressive to put some runs on the board. Get two runners now in the scoring position. Excellent job of stealing second base and staying out of a potential double play. Now that Hard ground ball for a base stop. One runs in. Now the second run is in. Well, he delivers in a huge Will Vest on the pitch here. Not for the 30th time this year. Este Yuri Ruiz, the next to hit. Slides, but it gets by him. Walker around second on his way to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Chaz McCormick. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. This one in the air center field. Meadows snags it for the second out. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. Here's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. A couple of runs in the in Now into the game. John Birdie. He takes now over and right. New arm for the Giants. Caleb Ferguson. But I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one gone. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the right fielder, Akil Badu. Close, but called a ball. Ball one. Upstairs. Nope. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. One down, base is empty. And he grounds one to the right side. And that one handled. Oh. And there's two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. On the ground right side. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Giants slug their way to a win in this one. The whole game, this team had to battle with that 10th man. Those fans making a lot of noise. But they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down. We were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well executed ball game. Close one here today and your final 11-10. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Our final line for tonight. First for the victorious Giants. So digging in, Johan Rojas. Over 3 with two strikeouts Johan. and a ground out. Rojas. 
The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching no, for a double play in this spot. Way to lay off that pitch down. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. And one, one and, and one. one. And there's oh. the ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Down the third baseman, Rodolfo Castro. First pitch, just misses. And that's in there at the knees. With the go-ahead run standing at second here at the top of the ninth. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Back here in San Francisco. On to the bottom of the 10th. And digging in for San Francisco, C.J. Abrams. And he deals. Rudder breaks for third. Ground ball up the middle. Stop. In plenty of time for first. And here in the 10th, the leadoff man is out. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves. And sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. One and up. Pitch out, but no action. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Line drive, caught! Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. One out left for the Giants. And up next for San Francisco, Francisco Mejia. Trying to deliver as the hero. Laser, base hit. In from third is the tying run. We are tied at two. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. This one high in the air to left center. Tracks it down for the out. And that's the inning. Run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Back here at Oracle Ready Park, all set seven. for the bottom of the 11th. The and here's here. the first baseman, Whit, Whit Merrifield. Merrifield. Alvarado back to work. Runner takes hey, off. Hey. Strike in there. Run a third. Save. That wasn't close. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of it. Base hit into right center. Runner from third into score. And they've tied it again. Lead off not puts the winning run on base. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Another takes off. Harper. And he takes it himself for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happens. So you better believe your teammates are happy. Runner takes off the third. Base hit! And the winning run is a board. Throw is up one end. This one's over. And the Giants lock it off in the 11th. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something
Here's C.J. Abrams to the hit. Number five. Good stuff. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Line drive. Drops into the glove. Relay throw. Back to first, and they got him. Double play. 5-1 is how it ends for Chris Singleton. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. The One right for field, two. Number 12, Trent. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Line drive. Reaching for it and breaks it in. Steps on first for the out. So it's their last oh, chance in this one. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. So now a pinch hitter for the catcher, Kike Hernandez, trying to get something going for him with two away. And there's a hit. So the tying run reaches with two away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And yeah, the batter now, Jordan Walker. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that is the ball game. The final one to nothing. Geraldo Perdomo the stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Geraldo Perdomo. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Makes the grab. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. He's two outs away. An outstanding Four. hitter in Cattell Marte. No, that's the ball. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And a pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. And looking, that's a strikeout. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And I'll tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to take your cap to the pitcher. The D backs down to their final strike. And now one and two. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in. On the ground, out to short. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Giants hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game.
Now batting Key Brian Hayes. The third base. One for three. Key Brian Hayes. Smash to the left side. Tosses across the first. And that is the inning. Giant. Back now in the Bronx. Gior Shella steps in. Lodolo back to work. Up the middle. Over to Merrifield. Out. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. And now Patrick Bailey. Ah. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. No ball. Base is empty one away here in the second game of the series. Two. That's a strike. And it's 0-2. Oh, Swings three. and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Just missed. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. He takes it on his out. own. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Out. Three. Out. one nothing. the final. The first single ten. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. He's the already homered here in this one. Jazz Chisholm Jr. And a base hit on the line. Runner around third. Tag and he's out at the play. Well, Boog, you have to be able to trust your coaches in this spot. That's what baseball is all about. You're relying on the people around you to run around the goal. Ripped into right center for a base hit. One runs in, headed for the plate. Throw cut off to second. Tag and he's in there. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Anytime you rip a new pitcher for the Braves, Pierce Johnson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Willie Adamas stands in. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags at second, and now a wide throw to third. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And that one sliced foul. <laughs> Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Action in the pen down there. Tyler Matzik up and loosening in the pen. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And out of here. He really needed that swing. He hasn't been getting a ton of results at the plate lately, so I'm sure that one felt especially good. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Everything came together for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely oh, felt good. Merrifield at the plate with two away, swings through that one. 
Out towards right center field. Harris makes the grab on the run. So first and second with two outs. Ozzie Albies next up for the Braves. Three ground outs already. He's over three. There's a strike. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the third and final game of the series. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Inning over. That's a crucial missed opportunity. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Pierce now, Johnson, Pierce. and he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Pierce. Typically at least one in an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. And a pitch. Rips that one center field. And a base hit right there. And the leadoff man aboard. Now batting key Brian Hayes. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Makes the catch. And there's one away. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. So two down now, and here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. Hit hard, base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. He's in there. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So it's second and third occupied. They go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded. And there's a force at every base. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Line, and that's a base hit. One runs in. The throw in. In there. He's safe. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the now, Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Aaron Bummer. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Hard hit, left side. Sends it to first, and that's the third out. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Mason Miller. Now, he last pitched two days ago. Adam Duvall at the plate. The pitch. There's a strike. 95 of that one. This is the type of hitter his club wants at the plate, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. And here it comes. That's ball two. That oh, misses the zone, out. and that's ball three. Oh. 
right handed reliever stays alive. Got him looking. One down. Here's Orlando Come Arcia. Out. Number five. Shortstop. Orlando. Arcia. Miller, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. That one catches the zone, and now it's even on and one. to kick the pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Swings and misses. Oh, two down. He's at a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. Oh, All four pitches in play right here, partner. Three. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, the goal when go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here, and you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Now batting. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first Francisco. base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. This one rip, but foul to the right. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. Two on, one out. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One runs in. The second run scores, and it's now 5-4. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Timing on the swing was good. Able to New arm out of the bullpen, Mike Bauman. Power slider guy, dude. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Stepping in, Chaz McCormick. There's a swing and a drive. Kowser, long run. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. In to score from first, and it's 6 4. Comes through with the RBI. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much. That one is absolutely belted, and no one can get there. The run comes in from second, it's 7 4. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay throw in there safely. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. Lined, and that's a base hit. The run scores from third, and it's 8-4. Wide throw, and it gets away. Board. Now batting key Brian Hayes, a former first round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. Stop. 
Birdie runs. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Around third. Trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. And they put the tag on him for the out. Coming on for the Orioles, CNL Perez. And this could be a tough first CNL. test for him right here. His numbers oh, against lefties man. aren't great this season. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with the knock in this one. Ripped on a line. An incredible rally here at the top of the ninth has completely flipped the script of this game. It's the Giants 9 and the O's 4. Back now, now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Anthony Bender gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Almost got him. High fly ball, right field. Birdie under it. And out number one on the grab. Aloy Jimenez now. That oh. one misses. 1-0. and oh. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. The wind of the pitch. Hey. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Orioles down to their final out. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. Got it. Ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. Nine four. Are Now, here is Otto Lopez down to their final Otto. out, but an opportunity Lopez. to deliver the tying and maybe even a winning run. Ball one, no strikes. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Sets him down looking. The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series. Now here's Nolan Jones. One now for three. The left fielder. Nolan Jones. They have a strike in there. Late in the game, oh, everyone one. gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Oh, one. Next offering upstairs. 1-0. Oh. Way out front for strike oh, two. Two for And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. 
He's two outs away. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Just missed. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One ball. With the tying run on at first here in game three of this four-game series. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment move, get back on track. His team needs it. Bouchard stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. There's a strike. One ball. The Rockies down to their final strike. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants have won four in a row. This is why they turn to him to close out games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just proved it for the 35th time this season. Nice job getting it done out of the pit. So two down. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. The batter. The second baseman. Bogarts. Swing and a miss. 
one. There it was, a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. The 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. On the ground. Now a jump throw to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, this has been a good, tight game so far, but now that error looms pretty long. Traffic on the bases with one already in. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And a big swing and a miss. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Got him! That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 21. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Tosses the first. One up, one down. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. That one is back. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Now around second, going for third. The relay, save! Too late. He's in there. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Next to hit, Este Yuri Ruiz. Ripped into right center. Should be extra bases. In the score from third. That ties it up at six. Around second now, going for three. Safe at third on a one-out triple. And the go-ahead run is on the doorstep. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. That smacked on a line to center. Snags it on the run. Runner tags from third to the plate. Save! And it's a 7-6 game. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Joe Kelly. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the... Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. A roll to Chapman. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And he handles it himself for the out. Merrill in the box now. Take strike one. Oh, one. Triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Looking to get the tying run on base. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. And now Jack Peterson over three with two strikeouts and a ground out. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Chapman, 37 years young. He joined the team as a free agent. Next offering is in for a strike. Holding on to a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. This to center field. Moving under this one. He's got it. And the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one. Leading off, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. 
get out of town. His 19th home run of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 8 6. Chris, he's homered in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. At the belt and fires. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Throw over to Cronenworth. Now one gone in the ninth. Willie Adamas stands in. Up the middle, and he can't come up with it. Now back. One gone runner at first. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it's off the wall. Around third. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Picks himself up at RBI. Just a solid swing right. So a lefty out of the pen. Matsui. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Hit hard on the ground to short. The throw to first. Two down. Trent Grisham, the next giant to hit. The right field of the 12. Trent Grisham. That one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Hard ground ball, base knock. In to score is the runner from third, and they lead by four. He was all over that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Now with the plate. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Coming home. Now a relay to third, and he's in there as a run scores. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Now here is Whit Merrifield. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. So it's four runs, five hits. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Anthony Bender. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Capusano stands in now and watches strike one. And he chases that one below the zone. No ball, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. He's two outs away. Edward Olivares, the next up for the hey. Padres. Swings through that one for oh, strike one. One. one out, base is empty. Yeah. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Oh, well, don't two. expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. On the ground to short, Abrams. And he saved it first. Definitely a tough play, but he seems to have had a little trouble getting rid of it, and that made all the difference. And with the speed running up the line, you got to be perfect, and right there, he just couldn't get it there in time. Cronenworth, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Pitch misses, one and one. Olivares, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. He goes down looking. Last chance for the Padres. Hassan Kim, the next up for the Padres. 
The shortstop takes the ball. They say it went. One and one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One ball. The Giants leading by five. They're oh. the last half of inning number nine. One strike away. Three, and two. another ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion. Eight yeah. wins in a row. You're this close to double digits. And now all of a sudden, it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that this team is playing at right now. And here is Joey Manessis. On to France. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. He's trying for third. Hard ground ball base now. Coming home. Now he tries to get back, but he can't. And the tying runs at second base with a double. So they're down to their final out. Next will be the Giants' DH, Jordan Walker. Base hit into the outfield. And now two aboard the winning run is on base. Coming up in a rundown now between third and home. They put the tag on him, and that'll do it. Ball game. One run game here today. One down. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And that's in there at the knees. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That's the ball. And the slider just misses. One out. The tying and go ahead runs are on. And we're in the top of the eighth. down on strikes that's out number two so first and second with two outs now it's going to be Fernando Tatis Jr. Go ball. One strike. Tatis waits and that one missing low in there at the knees and it's one and two well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Is it a tough? Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point. Thank you. 
Thank mm -hmm. you. 